Hello everyone, this is a quick video I wanted to make covering this uh, project I'm working on. Uh, the goal is to build a uh, full computer system based on the uh, Motorola 68020 processor. Haven't decided on the specific specifics yet. I will probably go with a VME bus. Um, but the background on this chip is that I received it for, uh, for free from a friend of mine. It was pulled from a, a defective Macintosh about 15 years ago. So we didn't know if the chip was good or not. So I built this uh, circuit to see if it was viable. And uh, I'll just go over the basics of what I've got on board here. Uh, as you can see here, this is a 16 megahertz part. It has a 16 at the end. I am running it though with a 20 megahertz crystal. And this uh, clock generation circuitry I have will cut that in half and feed the CPU with a 10 megahertz clock. So it is underclocked, but it should be sufficient. Uh, the ICs I have over here, there's a uh, Schmidt trigger inverter and a regular 7404 inverter. These are taking care of the, the initialization of the chip. Uh, the po at power up you have to uh, drive the halt and reset pins for a specified amount of time, otherwise the chip will start up in an indeterminate state. So uh, that needs to be taken care of, so that just handles the, uh, the power up and reset functions. I will flip the... Uh, Port over to show what I've got on the bottom here. It's all wire wrapped. I've uh, done this because it's a little bit easier to work with when you have uh, this number of pins. Uh, I do have um, all the data pins here in yellow at the bottom. That's a 32-bit data bus as well as a 32-bit address bus. I have tied them all to ground and uh, what that'll do is any any time uh, the CPU attempts to read it will return all zeros. And uh, the other various uh, uh, signals here, I've either tied them to ground or pulled them high through a 3K resistor, depending on uh, if, the, uh, if the signals are active uh, low or active high. And up here I have pulled out uh, some of the address pins. Um, address uh, A20 is going to, a, to an inverter, which in turn is driving this uh, yellow LED on the top of the board. And A21 through A23 are out to this header here, which I will hook up to uh, this uh, uh, breadboard to monitor it. Now the operation of this is relatively simple. What will happen is when the, when the CPU is powered up, it will start off by reading from the first memory address. It will return all zeros, of course, with the data pins all tied to ground. And in the M68K assembly language, when uh, all zeros are encountered on the instruction, it simply moves the value 0 to the uh, D0 register and then the CPU steps to the next uh, memory address. So a good test if the CPU is, uh, is viable is to monitor the address pins and see if it is indeed stepping through the addresses. So that's what this uh, circuitry uh, is, uh, is for. So A20, like I said, will be uh, monitored uh, by this LED up here. And then A21 through 23 will come through here. And on this breadboard, I have a 74138, which is a 3 to 8 decoder. So the three address um, pins from the CPU will come in through here. It'll decode those and uh, flash the LEDs from right to left if everything's working as expected. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. And uh, bear with me for just a moment as I uh, try to juggle the, uh, the camera and the... Uh, and the board here. Alright, I've got the power hooked up here. So we're good to go. This is a uh, 9 volt power connector, but I am not powering this on 9 volts. Uh, this is all 5 volt logic and that would uh, destroy it. So what I have is a uh, battery holder with four NICAD batteries. These are uh, approximately 1.2 volts each. Uh, at full charge though it's pulling about uh, uh, 5.07 volts on my, uh, on my tester. So if uh, anyone decides to do anything with TTL logic, uh, don't try it with four, ni or four alkaline batteries. They will uh, uh, gladly put out uh, a full six volts and uh, destroy your logic so I will go ahead and hook this up this connector is kind of uh, bad though so I'm gonna put the uh, camera down for just a moment 
as I hook this up. All right, so I've got it hooked up. We can see that the uh, LED hooked up to A20 is flashing as expected, and the uh, LEDs over here are indicating that it is at least stepping through that uh, um, eight-bit uh, section of the uh, memory addresses. So this is a good indicator that the chip is okay, and I will uh, continue uh, working on this uh, project. The next steps would be to uh, build up the byte enable logic. I'll probably use a uh, Xilinx uh, CPLD for that. And uh, also throw a couple of EEPROMs. Uh, once that's done, on, uh, done, I'll throw a couple of EEPROMs at it and uh, some SRAM and hopefully get the uh, very basics of a computer system up and running uh, before moving on to uh, input output through, uh, through the UARTs and such. So. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, put the uh, link to my website online or on the uh, comment section along with the schematics and uh, all my uh, project notes. Again, thanks for watching.